How did this young boy becomes humanity's greatest soldier? Let's break down the origin story of Master Chief. Now, if you like this kind of content and want to keep up with everything Halo, you got to smash that like and subscribe so you don't miss out. But let's jump right in. In the distant future, humanity has spread out among the stars with developed space travel. A boy named John was born in the year 2511 on a human colony known as Eridanus II. Now when compared with others at his age of 6, John showed extraordinary physical size, reflexes, and large amounts of ambition. Now enter Dr. Catherine Halsey, a leading scientist and employee of the Office of Naval Intelligence, which is a sub-intelligence branch of the UNSC Navy, which stands for the United Nations Space Command. Now she was quote-unquote recruiting for her new Spartan 2 program, a program in which children would be raised to become the ultimate military soldier, a super soldier. Now I say recruiting, but it was really more like abducted, but we'll get to that more in a second. Now during her first encounter with John, she had him flip a coin a ton of times, and John correctly named the side of a coin it would land on every single time. Now, whether it was his great vision, reflexes, or just pure luck, Halsey decided that he would be a member of the children selected. Now, part of the reason why the Spartan 2 program was so controversial is while it had potential to yield huge benefits, it really stepped a lot of humanitarian bounds considering that children had to be incorporated from a very young age and without getting the consent of the parents, they had to go through much more nefarious means in order to actually get these children involved. This is ultimately the military we're talking about, and what they would do is they would have Flash clones replace any of the children that were taken or abducted. And this was a very illegal cloning technique that, of course, the military doesn't have to follow any rules, and these clones would rapidly deteriorate and make it seem like these children died of natural causes so they could be in the military even if these children were already declared as dead in the eyes of everyone else. Now, after the abduction took place, for the next eight years of John's life, him and his fellow subordinates would learn about history, military strategy, and receive training in weapons along with military physical training to give them the nutrients they need to become that perfect soldier from a very young age. Now, this is also where he met his two greatest friends and fellow Spartans, Sam and Kelly, who will be very important later on. Now, John was acknowledged as a leader from early on in their small missions and distinguished himself as a squad leader, which he would soon lead many of the other Spartans. Now, the party really got started when these children reached the age of 14, and that's when they started their physical augmentation, where they were injected with many different things that enhanced them fundamentally. So there's actually a little chart here where I can read some of the things that they had actually done to them. So carbide ceramic ossification, which made it so that their bones basically became unbreakable. But there was an added risk that it might cause skeletal growth spurts or irreparable bone pulverization. They also had muscle enhancement injectors that made their muscles much more dense and intramuscular. And they had a decreased lactic acid recovery time, meaning that they could basically just run nonstop, take like a tiny break and run again and 5% of the test subjects became fatal to cardiac arrest just because of that. There was also a catathic thyroid implant which basically was a human growth hormone that allowed them a boost of growth in their skeletal and muscular tissue but there was also rare instances of elephantitis and a suppressed sexual drive which is part of the reason why none of these Spartans really care about that. They're basically more machine than human at this point. Next up was occipital capillary reversal, which submerged and boosted blood vessel flow beneath the rods and cones of the subject's retina, which is in your eye, produces a marked visual perception increase, basically gave them much better vision, they could see much farther, and they could see much clearer, and there was a chance that the retinal would reject and detach, which led to permanent blindness. Last up, there was a superconducting fabrication of neural dendrites, which in fancy terms, it was the alteration of bioelectrical nerve transduction to shield electrical transduction, 300% increase in subjects' reflexes. In addition, anecdotal evidence of marked increase in intelligence, memory, and creativity, but there were also significant instances of Parkinson's disease and Fletcher's syndrome as a result. So, as you see, all of these advancements created some amazing, amazing benefits, but there were risks with every single one. By the end of it all, there were over 30 dead and 12 disabled, and John John remained one of the only 33 that was still active in the Spartan 2 program. He became incredible, but many of the children died.
died in the process or became inactive or unable to still serve in the program and became more or less officers in the regular military. Now at this point, John was 14, but he was in peak physical human condition. Think 18 year old Olympic athlete level at the top of the top of humanity and he's only 14. Now, a lot of these advancements and a lot of this special treatment caused deceit amongst the rest of the military towards the Spartans, and many of these other groups would antagonize the Spartans and John specifically. In a boxing gym, four adult ODST or Orbital Drop Shock Troopers antagonized John and wanted to fight him, and John just fought them all at the same time. And you gotta understand that this was right after augmentation, where John didn't even know his own strength, and many of the people that he grew up with just died or became disabled because of the procedures so he did not hold back at all, and he accidentally killed two of them and seriously killed two others. Even though he felt very angry at the time, afterwards, he was very mentally tormented because ultimately these were members of the same military that he was part of, and John is a very good guy at heart. Now, after many successful missions and some time, the Spartans were notified about the first human covenant contact on a planet called Harvest. Now, the Covenant is a tyrannical alien religious group who would absorb other alien races into their class hierarchy and rage war on populations to expand the Covenant. Now, Dr. Halsey, utilizing a combination of human and alien technology, developed the Mjolnir-powered assault armor, which increases a Spartan's abilities immensely. Think of an exoskeleton where whatever you wanted to do, you could do it faster, stronger. You move, it moves. You could also be underwater for large amounts of time. You were immune to toxic gas. You were more survivable and could take tons of gunfire without dying, you weren't susceptible to radiation, and the list goes on and on. Essentially, while all the other modification made you surpass humanity, this put you into a completely new realm, a one-man army. Now, only those who went through the Spartan modification even had a chance to survive this new powered armor. Now, eventually, this armor would be opted with Covenant Regenerative Shields, which is a huge part of what you see in games, that top bar that regenerates with time. Now, Master Chief would lead the first conflicts on his missions against the Covenant, and he actually fully actualized himself as a leader, a super soldier, and eventually he would be dubbed that Master Chief title. Although that's gotta be a story for later, but this is definitely a good introduction into the story and legacy of Master Chief. I hope for those of you who know Master Chief, this was a really nice flashback for you, and those who didn't, you learned something, but if you have any questions, definitely let me know down below, and smash that like, subscribe, and let us know what you want to see more on this channel halo infinite is coming soon but i can definitely do more lore content you just got to let me know but thank you so much for coming by hope you enjoyed the video drink some water and hydrate and i'll see y'all next time